Last Supper is the epic scene. It is the, it is the turning point. It is the Last Supper before Christ is crucified, where he introduces to them, look guys, the kingdom that you thought was coming is not the kingdom that is coming because they all thought that Jesus would overthrow the Roman Empire, set up an earthly government. But of course he said, I have a plan and I'm going to a place that you know not of, captured brilliantly in the Son of God. This is our last meal together. Before I die. What do you mean? I'm going to be betrayed to my enemies. Arrested. and condemned to death. Don't be afraid. Trust in God. Trust in me also. You know the way to where I'm going. We don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? I am the way, the truth, and the life. You have to realize and think about Jesus and his humanity that we always, you know, we, as Christians especially, almost it's iconic, like he didn't, you don't feel the suffering always. And the portrayal of the emotions, the confusion, 12 men that have laid down their life and fought him for three and a half years. And now he says, one of you are gonna betray me. Rabbi, I will not fall away. I will lay down my life for you. Will you? I will. Peter, I tell you, before dawn, you will deny me three times. You can see as he hugs Peter, and at the end, you, he gets this prophetic insight, and it's almost like, is he getting it right there? Or of course, he's God. He knows all along that he's going to fall away. And, and the, the, the embracing of Peter, the embracing of Jesus, and you see the divinity, but you see the humanity. The Bible experience profoundly awakened. The numbers show that, people show that, the heart of God showed that. You see everything on this, that God backed it himself, heaven endorsed it, that people said we're hungry for it. And I believe the Son of God will be even a greater awakening because truly God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. I believe as they very profoundly put together this film, it is going to demonstrate just who God is and who his son Jesus Christ is. How did this happen? What are we going to do? Change the world. He will bring a new age of righteousness and justice. His power will draw all men to a new world. Oh, people! I've had reports of a young prophet of Nazareth. It's rumored he works miracles. They all do. 
Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God.